Hey, what's going on guys and gals? Check it out. So you recall about a week ago, I got these Chinese radiators from eBay and I told you that I watched an episode of Swap Moto and Don Mato was really, you know, raving about these radiators saying how good they were and, and all that good stuff. So yeah, I went ahead because I had damaged the radiator. So right here, you can see it squashed in on my Sherco. So I thought, you know what, um, let's, let's go. So I went ahead on eBay and ordered them um, as per their ad. And um, when I got them, I was really excited because I thought they were really cool and they looked really heavy duty. Well, a couple of things that you're gonna wanna know if you get these for your Sherco, if you want to use the factory um, fan, okay, you're going to either have to buy an OEM replacement for those holes, or you're going to have to take a stab at drilling in between the uh, fins on this plate and hope you don't hit the fins, I suppose. Um, you know, I guess, or I, I guess you could mount it some other way, but I, I'm not crazy about that. Another thing that I noticed that was different was the um, uh, the filler neck is really shallow, and I wanted to use run my um, cap on there. My cap's a 1.8. The cap that came with the um, radiator is 1.1. Probably not a big deal. I'm sure those radiators uh, uh, in from China can can handle the pressure but the 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 neck was a lot more shallow between the shoulder and the bottom here and so that was um concerning because it compressed this spring all the way so i don't know if that's good or bad i'm not a radiator guy but it seemed like it was kind of kind of wonky to me and then the last thing is and it was concerning was the fact that since as I said, it's a heavy duty type radiator, right? And so I look down here and when I install it, it actually 